Hey guys, this is Kate from Teach Your Kids Code. I'm here today to show you some of these awesome 3D printed fidgets that I just completed printing. These are so fun. I actually decided to start printing these fidgets because it's gonna be my son's birthday in a week or two. And I was thinking of party favors for his friends. And so I decided that I would print some colorful fidgets. These are super fun. My kids love them. And they actually have some use in that they can help people who need that extra little bit of focus, need to burn off some of that fidgeting energy and help them focus. I printed it with a shiny PLA that I really love. I just love the vibrant colors of these prints. And I'm super happy with how all these fidgets turned out. So I'm gonna link the PLA that I printed with in the uh, description, but here is the name of it. And then I'll also link all the links to the STL files in the description on an article on my site. So let's start off with this one. This is the rotating rings fidget. This one just gives that, you know, rotary feeling while you're fidgeting with it. It's really relaxing and I like how it has the rotating rings design. Don't mind the fly flying in and out of the picture. Then we have the fidget switch. So this one's just if you need to fiddle with that on and off switch. More of a rhythmic fidget. It has a little bit of a clicking sound. Again, I printed um, the switch in one color and the box in another, and I think that was a really nice effect. This is a clicking wheel. I actually think this one doesn't have the spring in it. This one has the spring, so it makes the clicking sound. So it gives that ratchet type of sound, which can be quite soothing. Uh, if you like something to fidget with that makes a little bit of noise, this one's for you. That's with the spring inside. Without the spring inside, you can just do more of the roll without the same noise. This is the Kobayashi fidget cube. So this just continuously folds over itself. I really like this one. I find that I can play with this one all day. Just keep folding it over and over. When I first printed this one, it did, it was stuck a little bit. I kind of had to wiggle those hinges to get them smooth like this. But after a few minutes of doing this on and off, it was working really smoothly. Again, I really like this PLA because it looks almost like it's two colors here, but that's just the shiny PLA that I printed it with that has kind of double color there. So put that one back. This one is a herringbone print in place fidget. Again, it makes a little bit of noise. So it's also just a spinner here. Um, this one is, um, again, so you wouldn't be able to put these herringbone nuts in without it being a print in place, which I think is really cool. Again, this one's just a nice spinner. I think my kids would love this one. Here's another ratchet uh, fidget. So again, if you like that ratchet noise, then this one makes that nice ratchet sound. Um, this one, again, when you print it, you print it in place and then you actually have to kind of break this middle part here to get it to do the fidget. And that took a little bit of effort at first, but then once I did that, it uh, turned out really well. So again, this one's probably not one that you're gonna wanna send uh, your kid with to their classroom or bring to the office because it does make a loud noise. But if you like that noise, then this one's a great one. This one is the Joy Fidget. So it kind of mimics the Joy-Con uh, from video games. Uh, it's got a springy type feel. I don't know if you can see that yet, it bounces in and out. It is, uh, I'm sure, gonna be the favorite of my uh, seven and 10 year old boys who love to play video games. 
So this is a great fidget that will keep their hands occupied while they're needing to concentrate. This one's a gear fidget. So again, this one was print in place. There was an option to not print it in place, but I went with the print in place option. And essentially these just twist up and down. And if I were to twist it past here, it would fall off. So they just keep going up and down. Again, a nice spinny one here. And again, you can print it in place like I did. Then you do need to kind of wiggle it a little bit to get it unjammed. Or you can actually print these separately, put this on top. This one is definitely one of the favorites of my kids. I actually think that for my son's birthday next week, I'll just print about 20 of these and put them in the party favors for the kids. These are actually really easy to print to print in multiple as well. Uh, sometimes with these articulated guides, you might get some issues with adhesion on the printer bed. I usually use a glue stick on my uh, flexible print bed and I haven't had any issues when I do that. Because with these little pieces, they can sometimes move around and that's where you run into printer errors with your articulated surfaces. <laughs> this is a super fun fidget. Great if you're looking for more of that rhythmical type of movement and super cute. I think the kids will love this one. And then we've got this one, another gear, uh, geared fidget. So the gears run together here. You can print the casing in a different color than the gears if you wish. And then the, this casing just snaps together, no glue required, which is nice as well. Last but not least is the fidget spinner. I love this fidget spinner. My son has already requested that I print one off for him for school. Um, a lot of the fidget spinner files that you'll see on the 3D printing websites like Thingiverse or Printables uh, either want you to put um, a penny in these three uh, spots here and then a ball bearing here or ball bearings in all these areas. I don't have any ball bearings sitting at home so I went with this one which was a print in place uh, 3D printed fidget spinner where the actual bearing mechanism is made out of 3D printed plastic. Um, in the description of this uh, 3D printed fidget spinner it does say that some printers may not be able to uh, print such intricate details. I used the Flash Forge Finder printer. I had absolutely no issues with it. I've printed this twice now because again, I'm gonna be printing them for my son and uh, both of them came right off the bed and spun really smoothly right away. So I'm super happy with this. Uh, I think this is great. Fidget spinners are back. They're all the rage these days at school. And so I'm happy that I could print this off for my kids and didn't have to go buy one from the dollar store. Overall, super happy with my collection of fidgets. I'm gonna give all of these away in, like I said, the party favors for a birthday. And I think that's a great way to make use of these fidgets. And I'm really keen to use this PLA again for some other decorative projects. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe.